we're chasing our oil problems on the 2JZ BMW. If you remember in the past couple episodes, we uh, one we fixed the mechanical timing issue where that cheap uh, our cheap little ring gear or cam gear decided to just quit on us. It's all ripped out. Uh, I never loosened these up, never touched them. Um, you can kind of see more scoring back in there. Uh, we also put in the new Chase Bay's radiator. I'm still waiting on a few pieces. We can finally close that all the way up. And then uh, we had to tear down the turbo and adjust the oil feed angle. We don't have much else we can do to get that and still keep this vertical feed. Uh, but we're still getting some of that uh, uh, some we're still getting a lot of that smoke coming out that uh, kind of burning oil smoke so today We're going on and we're going to go and do a cylinder leak down test on it now, This would be the first time I've ever personally done a cylinder leak down test. I've got all the necessary tools. I think um, I've got the air compressor I got the leak down tester itself I want to chase through that my fear is that uh, rings are just bad on this. And if it's not the rings themselves that are bad, then it's the cylinder walls. This was a used engine. From what I can tell, it was a blown head gasket engine. I'm um, just based off disassembling it when I pulled it from the junkyard. So if that's the case, we're gonna go ahead and start our stroker build early. Hopefully though, for the sake of my wallet, it's not. And the problem is something a little more simple. And something that we can address without doing a major overhaul on it so first things first I gotta get the car up to operating temperature I'll let you guys see what it looks like as far as the smoke and everything and some of the weird places it's coming out of with that air as it comes out and then a big concern for it is this is what really kind of blows my mind on it is if I crack open the throttle body it comes out of the intake manifold as well so this is one of the more mild uh, smoke sessions uh, the exhaust is still a little bit uh, pretty thick, but as far as like smoking from the engine itself goes, this is probably one of the more mild ones it has. So maybe that's a good sign. Maybe there's just oil residue left in um, the downpipe and the intake manifold from where the turbo feed was all messed up. And maybe there's still just that stuff burning off. But since we have the stuff, we're going to go ahead and continue with doing the leak down test just to eliminate any of those other possibilities. All right, so the first step is gonna be getting our piston lined up at top dead center on the compression stroke. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna shoot for top dead center based off of our timing marks. All 
All right, so we got that lined up. Now I'm gonna pull my spark plugs out. So we see on cylinder number one, we've got right about 11% loss. So I can hear it leaking from somewhere. I'm gonna see where I can, if I can find it. All right, so so far cylinder one checks out a little more than what I want, but overall it's not like a huge leak. Um, like I said, we're looking at about an average between nine and 11 percent, so we'll say about 10 percent, which is like the bottom end of tolerance, but it's still not something super crazy. So I gotta go through, knock out the rest of the cylinders and we'll see what happens. So we're at cylinder number five. So we do got some pressure drop there too. Definitely got some coming out of here. And the oil dipstick tube. So two cylinders in really really starting to think that it's going to be ring gap all right so cylinder number three seems to be our winner we're already down about 80 percent uh, it's passing over and coming out of our number two Got it. It's coming out of number two, and you open that up. You can tell it's definitely coming out of cylinder number three, kind of bridging over that little midsection I was talking about earlier. Try that again. So it's coming out of the number three cylinder, jumping over to the number two cylinder and then coming out of the open intake valves in the number two cylinder, which is why it's coming out of the intake manifold. Um, I think it's safe to say that that's also why I'm getting smoke in the intake manifold is because the combustion or the exhaust gases from cylinder number two, or I'm sorry, cylinder number three are jumping over into cylinder number two and then leaking out of the exhaust or the open intake gasket as well or intake valve as well um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other number uh, the other three cylinders just so I can go ahead and see what the rest of them look like uh, I am still a little uncertain about some of the uh, rings uh, number five had like a 16% drop in pressure number one had an 11% so I'm not quite sure what the tolerances are and what's acceptable but I know for sure this head's pretty much no good to me now. Um, I do have a second head, however, it's a non-VBTI head. I don't want to use that one. So I'll probably just buy another uh, VBTI head. Um, I'll swing this one by the machine shop just to see, hey, is there anything you can do with it? Maybe, maybe it's not so bad to the point they can't uh, cut it down. Uh, although I've already had that resurfaced once. Anyway, we'll knock out the other ones. I've got number six left to do. 
number it'll number six, number two, and number four will be the last three to do. Hopefully things don't get too bad. But it does look like we're gonna go through a serious overhaul on this engine. So more fun.